Hi, this is Tom Norris for the Lone Star Conference coming to you from Bill Greer Arena on the campus of St. Mary's University. Thanks for joining us today as we're here with head men's basketball coach Jim Zelznak, who's in his 15th season at the helm of the Rattlers, and sophomore Caleb Jordan as part of the Lone Star Conference Basketball Online Media Day. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. Coach, we'll start with you. 12 and 17 last year, 4 and 12 in the Heartland. What are your expectations for the 1920 team? Well, I mean, you know, like they say in the deuce, I mean, it's a year to year deal. So, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, I thought we had a really good spring. You know, the the uh, players that we had coming back, I thought did a did a, you know, nice job of you know getting themselves back into the groove. And we had a, you know, did a did a good job with our you know with our spring workouts. Uh, you know, I thought our weight workouts went great in the spring with our with our returning players. So, and then uh, you know we've added uh, you know we've added some you know we've added some key guys and that. Uh, you know, all those things put together and stuff, you know, just like this young man sitting next to me and stuff, he got some valuable experience last year and, uh, you know, got some got some key components coming back. And uh, But, uh, you know, in saying that, we needed to add some good players to it and stuff, and we got a couple of good transfers, we feel like, and, you know, some freshmen that are capable of coming in and contributing right away, so, you know, to help our depth a little bit. So, you know, I feel, you know, I feel really good about, you know, what I've seen so far, what I saw, in the, saw last spring, what I saw over the summer, and then, obviously, uh, you know what we've done, uh, you know, in uh, you know August and September and stuff. It, uh, I think everything, everything has that uh, has that arrow pointing up. Very good, Caleb. Coach has mentioned some really valuable experience for you last year. Named Heartland Conference Freshman of the Year. What have you done, you know, in the off season, in the spring, in the fall, to kind of maintain that level of play? Now you're going to be on people's scouting report. How do you handle those expectations? I've definitely been working very hard this off season. You know, I, like Coach said, I've got a lot of experience and the knowledge that I need to know what it takes to become a successful basketball player. I know there's going to be a target on my back. There's never, you know, um, a night where there's there's not going to be a target on our back. You know, St. Mary's University. So I know that we have to um, work as a team and get better with that. Um, I also have been taking the necessary steps to become a better leader. Um, on and off the court, just not on the basketball court, but in, in the classroom too, making sure all of our guys are, you know, getting their grades right and making sure everybody's eligible so that, you know, we won't have any um, slip-ups and things like that. So that's definitely what I've been working on. I've been in the gym a lot, um, extra hours, getting shots up, um, working on my handling, working in the weight room. So I've definitely been, been working this offseason. I'm looking forward to this upcoming season. Very good, Coach. You touched a little bit on some, some returners some key newcomers, your roster's nearly split 50-50 in, in that fashion. Talk about some of those key returners and then touch a little bit on some newcomers that you think are gonna make an immediate impact. Well, I'll start off with the returners. Uh, you know, really everybody, everybody that was on our roster last year, especially at the end because of, you know, some of the injuries that we had and, and uh, the, uh, so everybody got, you know, everybody got some experience, but, you know, starting off with, with Caleb, of course, you know, he's freshman in the year in our league, but, uh, you know, more importantly, you know, he probably we asked him to probably do uh, do a few things that, that that maybe you know when we recruited him we didn't think that were necessarily all of his strengths. Uh, and you know, uh, Caleb and I have had some some different conversations about what what we feel like you know needs to be his role given you know the the influx of uh, of new players that have come into our program. So you know, I think he's made a concerted effort. You know, in particular since we've started our formal workouts, you know, to uh, you know, be able to, you know, try to take over some of that, some of that responsibility, what we're asking to do, which was probably a little bit different than last year, uh, given, you know, have, given the injuries and the amount of time they had to spend on the floor. Uh, Marquise Houston is back. Uh, you know, he had a, had a, had a great spring, uh, had some uh, valuable, valuable lessons learned, we hope. And, uh, but he's, he's really, you know, he's, uh, toned his body up, he's lost weight, he's in really good condition. I mean, he's, you know, he's really taken it upon himself to, you know, do a lot of work from a, from that strength and conditioning standpoint. I think that has showed on the floor. Uh, a couple of our post kids, uh, Kirtland Wesley, Lamont Trailer, you know, have both, uh, both gotten stronger. You know, I think they've, uh, you know, they've adapted, you know, to some of the new personnel. So, you know, we expect them to both, uh, you know, have, you know, build off of what they had last year and stuff and both have good years. Uh, we have a, you know, an influx, a grouping of different, of different guys. You know, Timmy Benavides played quite a bit last year, got a lot of playing time. Uh, you know, Noah Lang, Terrell Harris. I mean, it just, uh, you know, we can go down the line on some of our returning players that all got some valuable experience last year. Uh, from the standpoint of our recruiting class, really our, our two transfer guys, 
Kobe McGee transferred from from, uh, from University of Texas El Paso, and uh, Keem Dasher transferred from Texas State have both been both had really really productive falls and. Uh, you know, I, we expect big things out of both of them and stuff. Sometimes you never quite know how transfers are going to come and fit in and, you know, adjust to, you know, what you're asking them to do uh, on and off the court. But, uh, you know, up to this point, you know, I've been really pleased with both of them and, and we uh, certainly expect both of them to be, you know, to be have an immediate impact uh, on our team. Uh, have a grouping of freshmen that, uh, you know, again, that, you know, freshmen are, are kind of a, you know, they're, they're a grouping of guys that you don't quite know what to expect until the lights come on. So uh, they've all worked hard. Uh, you know, I, I would expect that we would have some contributions from our, from our younger players. But uh, again, uh, you know, until, uh, you know, until those lights come on and the, and the striped shirts come out there, you're not exactly sure how, that, uh, how that's all going to go. But uh, certainly between, you know, Jaron Presley, uh, Marco Pena, of course, uh, Tyler Karen hasn't really got on the practice floor yet and stuff. We, you know, he's coming off some knee surgery, but uh, we actually expect him back to, you know, some more limited activity and stuff here very, uh, very shortly. Um, you know, we've, uh, you know, uh, Zach Keller has, has come in and, and, and done a good job from the, from the standpoint of adjusting from the high school to, you know, to college basketball. Uh, I know I'm missing somebody in here, but... Uh, yeah, Miles, yeah, Miles McDougal and stuff. He, he was one of our transfer guys. Uh, you know, he's actually going to be out a little bit and stuff, but he he's come in and done a great job. Uh, you know, with, uh, he's a one of a, again he he'll, he'll compete for a lot of playing time. He'll he'll make an immediate impact. Uh, uh, so another one of our freshmen that, that we feel like has, has come in and, and really has taken off is Emmanuel Awuzie. Uh He has. Uh, you know, still has a lot to learn, but you know his energy and his athleticism on the floor, uh, you know, might force us to play him a little bit and stuff, which is something that we really didn't expect. But he's uh, he's really come on, uh, especially since we started our formal workouts and stuff, and has put him put himself in a spot that uh, you know he might have a chance to have uh, you know be be a contributor right away as well. Caleb, uh, coach has just kind of ran through a laundry list of newcomers. You you went through this last year being a newcomer. What's that vibe like in the locker room in terms of meshing with the guys, and especially a class as big as the one you guys have in now? How is that vibe? How have you guys meshed as a team? I definitely think we've meshed very well. You know, we as a team, like you know, there's there's certain things that you talk about in the locker room that that you don't feel comfortable talking about with other people, and and I really appreciate the guys, the new guys coming in, feeling like they can talk to us, even if it's just about class, about basketball, about workouts, getting extra shots, like. Um, just just coming together as a team and really being one, and I really feel like that's a pivotal part in us being um, a very great program in the, the Lone Star Conference this this year, upcoming year. And I feel like that we are we're very doing doing very good um, coming as a team. Very good. You mentioned the Lone Star polls are set to come out next week. You guys were picked 13th um, by by fellow coaches and fellow peers in that league. I'll give you both a chance to answer. Does that number mean anything? Um, does that kind of fuel your fire a little bit to prove people wrong? Why don't you go ahead? I'll finish it up. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely think so. You know, um, we 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 didn't do as well as we wanted to last year in the Harlem Conference. So I mean, I, I guess you can say that's fair. But I I feel like we we've got a very good team coming this year, and numbers don't really matter. You know, I don't I don't feel like that that's you know thirteen that that's what's gonna happen. That's just a you know a number that people are picking us as, and I feel like I do we do want to prove people wrong. You know, it's that that just comes with being um, as competitive as we are in this program. Um, just just coming every day to work hard and, and and just be better, not worrying about the numbers because at the end of the day. Like, That'll show how good we are and how competitive we are. You know, if I was a coach and I was in an F or an SID and I was looking at twelve and seventeen, should I pick us? I pick us there too. But uh, what would really worry me is that if everybody that was picking had actually come into some of our practices and watched this practice, well, that would be way I would be worried. But uh, nobody has been, so uh, you know, we'll leave it at that. N numbers absolutely mean zero to me. Uh, you know. Let's uh, you know that that could change after the first weekend. So uh, I've never I've never been big on preseason polls and stuff because even if you have a lot of returning guys, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have success the next year. Same way, I mean it. You know, like I said, life in the deuce is uh, is short lived. So uh, 
you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not a, a preseason numbers guy at all and stuff. So it's just, you know, it's, it's a requirement that somebody has asked me to do and stuff. So I just do it. But it, uh, it has no impact on what, uh, what this team is capable of doing. It, it doesn't put a chip on our shoulder. It's just one of the deals. You know, it has no effect on what we do day to day and how these guys prepare themselves to, you know, on a daily, on a daily basis and stuff. Uh, you know, going to you know, going to class, going to the weight room, coming in and having the proper attitude and practice, and doing what we're asking them to do. No effect whatsoever and stuff. It uh, you know, these guys will prepare themselves, and uh, I think they all there. There's a lot of confidence in that locker room right now. Very good, you guys. We've we've been talking about the Lone Star a little bit here. Let's just talk about obviously it's it's our first year in the Lone Star. You've traditionally played most of these teams, anyways. What's the expectation moving into the biggest Division Two conference in the country? Well, it's, uh, you know, they, they've been good. I mean, it's, you know, it, uh, it's been a very competitive league for, for a lot of years. I mean, we've got a, we've got a tremendous uh, amount of respect for that league. Uh, you know, I know a bunch of the coaches and stuff and how they go about doing things. Uh, you know, there, there, there's a lot of great coaches in that league, just as there were in, in the Heartland as well. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it would be a challenge, but, you know, it's a challenge in the Heartland as well. So the, the, these, uh, you know, these guys put a lot of emphasis on, on building good, good programs and they, they put a lot of emphasis on winning, their, their school does. And, uh, you know, it's been, uh, you know, we, we've had good rivalries with a lot of these people, uh, you know, even though, though, even though being non-conference games. So it's, uh, you know, it'll be a challenge, but, you know, I mean, we're not going into a blind either and stuff. We're, we're pretty familiar with a lot of these people already. Caleb, you've now got about a, a seven day sample size of official practice just started last Tuesday. What have you been most impressed with your team in that seven days of practice? I've definitely been impressed with our intensity in practice. You know, um, as far as as far as making mistakes, that's going to happen. You know, you can correct mistakes, but you can't correct intensity and how hard how hard you're playing. And I really feel like that as a team, we've really come and we've really wanted to learn better, and we've actually been going 100 percent every day. We've been getting better, so I definitely that's the that's the thing I'm I'm really most impressed with is is our intensity in practice. Very good, coach. Last question. What's the most important aspect of basketball your team needs to focus on this year to be successful? Well, I mean, that's a great question. I, I don't know that I can label that as one particular aspect. Uh, I would certainly like us to uh, be better on the defensive end of the floor. I mean, I think we already are. I mean, you, know, you can you can see in our practices and stuff that we have made uh, significant progress there. Uh, there. There's still still room for development, but uh, you know we are we are definitely uh, I think heading in the right track there. Uh, if we don't, it'll be a long year. I mean, we, we have to be better defensively. We have to rebound better. Uh, it kind of goes back to the same thing. We have to take care of the basketball. I mean, all the little basic things and stuff. You know that we that we you know kind of kind of constantly harp on and stuff. But though you know we just make you know keep on making significant progress, you know, every week and every practice with, with those type of things, I think we'll, uh, you know, the, that's really what I want to see, you know, is that, uh, you know, that we just keep on getting better and stuff. You know, we, we set a little bit of a benchmark for ourselves with the first practice and then, you know, how, how can we be better defensively the next day and the next day and the next day. And the same thing with taking care of the basketball and rebounding and, you know, making sure that as we go along, you know, our shot selection continues to get better and better and better, you know, as we get used to playing with each other. So I think you know those, those things combined and stuff. I think we'll we'll uh, you know we'll we'll see where all that takes us at the end. Very good. Well, that'll do it for Lone Star Conference Media Day. Once again, I'm Tom Norris, along with Headman's basketball coach Jim Zelznak and sophomore Caleb Jordan. Gentlemen, thanks again for joining us, and best of luck this season.